Hi guys. You need to be thinking to yourself. Shelby, you're right. One, I know. Two, I'm sorry, I did not mean to. A lot happened. Basically, I moved into my apartment. This video was supposed to go up over summer. I am very behind. I am sorry, I am working on it. I do have videos in the works and I will be posting more and I say that honestly this time because I actually like am currently working on another video at the same time as this one. That one will be going up next week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Shelby. I'm back. Recently, I got a question about college and why I chose UCF. So I thought I'd explain that and then I thought I would also give some advice for your first year of college because recently I just finished my full first year of college. Next semester, I'll be going into my fourth semester at UCF and my sixth semester taking college classes overall. This is everything you need to know <laughs> about your first year, almost everything you need to know about your first year of college. First of all, why did I choose UCF and why did I choose UCF Business? For those of you who don't know, I am technically not a marketing major. I'm in pre-marketing right now, but that will be my degree course. I attend the UCF College of Business and Administration. Why I chose marketing. So I'm also getting a minor in digital media and why I chose all of that was because I wanted to get into social media marketing. I started doing social media and I kind of fell in love with all the behind the scenes stuff, the business aspect. I thought it was super super interesting. So that's basically why I wanted to get into that. So there's not really like a lot there. Why I chose UCF was because there's family history there. My mom went to UCF, my cousin went to UCF, my other cousin is currently going to Valencia. So it's kind of like always been in my family. First time I ever stepped foot on the campus I fell in love. It's been Big, but it's not too big when there's a massive amount of students on campus but every time you walk around it's never like loud it's always very quiet and peaceful beautiful campus I wanted to stay in state for scholarships specifically bright futures for those of you who don't know if you go to at least one year I believe it's at least one year of high school up until you graduate so like it won't count if it's just your junior year, but if it's just your senior year it'll count in the state of Florida and you meet certain requirements you can actually get the scholarship called bright futures and you can get I think 50% I have 75 and then there's the 100% but in order to use that you have to stay in state so that's part of the reason why and actually UCF has one of the cheaper tuition rates I don't think it's the cheapest in the state of Florida my first three of semesters so fall spring and summer together was I think only around just tuition 6,000 which is actually considerably cheap because that can be one full semester at any other state college with the business program I forget the exact ringing but I believe it's one of the top 100 programs for business so it's a really good program UCF is like the perfect sweet spot in terms of location for me because I wanted to move out of the area I grew up in but I didn't want to be like too far from my family so it's only like two hours from my mom's house so I can basically come down whenever I want it's far enough away where I have my own sense of freedom but it's if I ever needed to come home for anything I can just drive home a fun fact UCF was actually the only college I applied to my biggest tip don't do that <laughs> apply for more than one college it would have been considered a safety school for me but because it was really the only college that I wanted to go to I only applied to that one don't do that don't apply to one college apply to many not like too many but like apply to different schools just in case you do get rejected from the one college you apply to and then obviously like on campus game days are so much fun there's so much to do so many activities we have like actually this huge tailgate that we do every game day and there's like so much stuff to do on campus anyway there's always activities going on there's always like trivia nights happening so much to do <laughs> that's a little bit of the reasons why I chose UCF and why I chose the business program I do have some tips and some advice if you're going into your first year of college these are all from my personal experience do you guys have any more advice Advice that I didn't mention or something that didn't apply to me but might apply to you um, go ahead comment down below my biggest advice would be to just branch out of your comfort zone in high school you kind of stay in like the small little bubble but you're not gonna find that college you're gonna find there's so many other bubbles you can explore so really like branch out join clubs talk to classmates form groups there's so much to do to get you out of your comfort zone that I was just, just Go ahead and do it that's what i did and i ended up having like the, the best time and also explore the area around your campus ucf is located like kind of close to the city so we have like buses and stuff that'll take us to the city or you can just drive 20 minutes to downtown but there's also like so much to do right next to campus like we have a couple of malls so many targets so many food places to try there's also like walking trails and lakes and rivers and stuff try and like explore the area whether by yourself or like with a group of friends you make grades aren't everything 
And I say this knowing that a lot of the times you need certain GPAs for scholarships because that's the boat I'm in, but don't stress too much about your grades because if you stress too much about your grades, that's all you're going to worry about. I had B's my first semester and I still managed to have over a 3.5 GPA. And a lot of the times tests and stuff aren't the big determining factor. Like yeah, there's going to be a class where your test is like 50% of your grade, but most of the time tests aren't the end all be all for your grade and it's actually like all the little things. Don't stress too much and don't be afraid to ask professors and TAs for any kind of help. Office hours are there for a reason. Take advantage of that. Don't worry about the party scene at a college because you may not end up going to parties. <laughs> I didn't go to parties. I'm not a party person, but don't worry about going to parties if that's not your thing. No one's going to look at you funny because you didn't go to a party or you didn't go to like this one club that was having this one event. If this isn't high school. Without sounding too mean, no one really cares. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. Like no one's going to care about whether you did something or not unless it was like super super bad. That's not the college atmosphere. Plan personal care days where you just clean your entire space, clean yourself, whatever, do a face mask, like once every week or so. Go take yourself out to get your nails done, get your hair done, get a massage, whatever it is. Make sure you take days to take care of yourself because without taking care of yourself, you're not taking care of your mental health and that is just going to spiral into that. And that goes along with making sure that you find time to stay active, whether that's working out, whether that's taking lap around your uh, dorm building whatever it may be find time to take yourself out of your study space take a break whether that's staying active or whether that's going outside and just laying on a towel in the grass or we have a hammock island where you can go hang up a hammock in some trees and whether you just do that and just sit down for a minute or get a workout in it literally does not matter take breaks keep your space clean and organized if you have a messy space you're going your mind is going to get cluttered that just kind of spirals into like not doing your schoolwork not staying on top of things so if you have a clean and organized space what most often will happen is your mind will feel more productive and you'll want to do your schoolwork more get a good study playlist that can actually really help um don't just like sit in silence if you don't want to listen to music you can listen to podcasts turn on youtube videos turn on a tv show that you can just like blank out out, but still have like noise in the background if you want to sit in silence that's fine I personally found I have a playlist that I listen to when I'm studying and I feel like 10 times more productive doing so so do that pick up a hobby or bring supplies for your hobby that you already had with you because you're gonna find that there are times when you don't have schoolwork you're not going anywhere you're just kind of sitting alone um, but you don't want to like not feel productive you still want to do something so whatever it is you will have time to do that so make sure you're prepared you actually don't need that much school supplies in college you really only need like one good set of pencils pens markers a folder or two maybe like one big notebook to put all your stuff in i actually personally use an ipad i have my ipad and that's what i wrote everything down in that's where i took all my notes so i always suggest that if you want to do that it was super easy i can actually read like all my books and stuff on there too so it just worked out better for me make sure you plan for extra spending when you go to college you tend to only think about spending as in like your tuition and where you're living Living. like if you're staying in a dorm or renting an apartment or whatever what people don't tend to think about is all of your food your books going out whatever that all costs extra money that you may not have budgeted for so make sure you budget for all of that because books are expensive I think I spent $500 on books one semester so make sure you have money for that and if you're gonna go out my biggest tip is don't use your credit card pull out some cash because as we all know cash isn't real money make sure like if you're going out to eat or something pull out like 50 bucks and that's all you spend or if you're going shopping well like a hundred and that's all you spend this will actually help you budget more and it'll help you keep from going over so you spend less and if you have any extra money put it in a save jar or some kind of thing to keep it in and like start accumulating cash so like if you want to spend on a nicer meal or something now you have cash to do it things are going to be more expensive in college towns and I don't mean that as like a, oh you're gonna be spending more on more things no milk in your college town will most likely cost more than the milk you bought at home <laughs> because a lot of the times the counties that these colleges are in tend to upcharge their taxes so it's actually more expensive to live in a college town so make sure you're prepared for that make sure all of your electronics work 
before you get there. What happened with me is I had an older laptop that I was using. I get there and within the first three weeks, it crapped out on me. It literally like rebooted itself in the middle of my work and it, I had to go buy a new one like that weekend because it like I couldn't use it anymore. So make sure all of your stuff works or if it's older and you have the expenses to buy a new one, go ahead and just buy one. And finally, possibly the biggest tip is everyone is in the same boat. No one knows what they're actually doing. Whether you this is your first year of college or you're graduating, you really have no clue about what you're doing. You may think that going in as a freshman or your first year living on campus that you are very clueless. Trust me when I say everyone else is just as clueless. You are all in this together. You all are on different journeys, but you all are at the same place at the same time. Basically, no one knows what they're doing. You're all in the same boat, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but that is my biggest tips for college college and especially if you're going into your first year obviously I don't know everything I'm sure a lot of you don't know what you're doing so if you guys have any more advice or you have like questions about anything go ahead put them down below I'll try my best to answer them or maybe someone else can answer them for you but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe I hope you have a good rest of your day night or whenever you're watching this and I will see you next time bye